Well, hello everyone, Dylan here ha with, my, with with another Lego Sonic the Hedgehog review and also my first Lego Sonic the Hedgehog 2024 review and also first review for 2024, of course. So on the front of the uh, smallish box, and this one's on uh, Xiao's Escape, of course. So on the front of the box here you have the uh, Lego Sonic the Hedgehog logos, picture of Sonic, the same borders that we've been seeing since last year. And have a picture of Shadow on the cycle zipping right by, of course. And have age recommendation is eight and up. Set number seven six nine nine five has one hundred ninety six pieces. This side of which is a in game pic of Shadow, of course. And on the back side have we have another picture of the set and some of the features of it. And also the logos again, and that. And now onto the manual, of which uh, kind of the basic rendering as we have been seeing since mid 2022, of course. Then transition to paper bags, which in my copy didn't get that. And add to the builder app. And on the back, kind of went on the online survey. Has all the pieces that come with the set. Then advertisement for uh, last summer's sets, of course, and add for the two new sets of this year and uh, Knuckles Mech Battle set, of which expect quite soon, of course. And then last building steps of it. So now on to the mini pigs. Or single mini pig, of course. So first off, we have the only uh, actual mini fig of Shadow the Hedgehog, of course. Which the torso printing uh, quite simple and does well and looks quite good for that and also side arm printing uh, which done quite good and also as for the leg printing uh, which kind of duly bolded and doesn't carry all the way over like we have with some of the other figures in this line of course and also as for the headpiece which you may think may be kind of similar which might be the same as Sonic's but actually it's kind of sculpted a little differently as fitting to shadow of course so that really good but however the uh, sculpting printing on it all looks great for that and of course have a downward smirk kind of like the up like the upper smirk that sonic does and and although some people have been saying that the eye parts might be kind of light for it, but actually it works out just right for it. And then as for the back torso printing, oh, it's just the same as Sonic the Hedgehogs. Still wish this would be a, there would be a proper backpack piece for both the back uh, fin parts and tail, which both he and Sonic would have that. But also silver and such could have that. Maybe in the future they'll fix that, but yeah. Then also do get a white clucky, which also came in the uh, Amy's or Amy's uh, animal rescue set from last year. So not nothing much to say there, but yeah. And now on to a wild bot, which as you see, kind of similar to a crab meat from last year and some of the other sets of last year, but also still quite effective for that. Like for the head part, which is made of mostly a, a snot brick in there, and also Nexonite's pyramids, it's but used for the horns, and also wedge plates to the sides, and also uh, flat studs with eyes for that. And also have kind of a hinge with a, a curved slope above it, and then have the only bit or a couple of bit of snot on this is to the uh, 
long chi slopes in the back and also the what makes up most of it are these uh, large curved slopes like we see on the uh, nose parts of previous X-Wings in Star Wars. But however, them here does work out well. And the bottom part, which are just a pair of black jagged invert slopes acting as a wheel, although I think an actual wheel part could have worked out just as well. But maybe that would make it a little too hard and it'd be too hard to balance for that. But however, done like this, still quite good for that. And also, and like some of the other enemy built sets, it has a tile in the lower part of it and a large space to fit a critter built piece into, obviously. And also, it would be nice if there would be an extra plate or slope to go over go over these two studs to keep the critter inwards so you don't have to worry about it like falling out that easily but maybe perhaps it's just to have it fall out quite easily or maybe just or that that's just for a purpose for that but I think I kind of understand a bit but yeah and that is about it with the rhino bot here and now onto the uh, motorcycle I or Shao's motorcycle, which I can't remember right now, or the name of right now. But however, if you know, like they that for the that through the late 2010s, they have been doing a lot of oversized motorcycles in like Ninjago and Nexo Knights and Chima and also Monkey Kid, but also in uh, superheroes DC Marvel sets as well. But however, with this one in which they've kind of started to scale it down for that, which I which I like and I think great. But however, as for the build of which, quite solid and really good. Like this front part, which is the typical wheel piece for that, and also these couple technic bits like we've seen in uh, on the construction figures in Star Wars, well, Kylo Ren's lightsaber, but holding this bar piece to there the front part of which and then top part of which have the uh, paint roller pieces but used as handlebars like we saw in uh, one of the uh, Lego Batman movie sets which I think great use of that piece there and also a hinge uh, plate with a couple studs on front of it representing a headlight and then on the side part of which have quite a bit of snot going on like and these round tiles, which with the markings on them, are prints, not stickers. So there's not at all any stickers in this set, of which great, which I find great then. And then as for the and lower down of which have a couple of hinges holding uh, Nexo Knight's uh, shield pieces that are also printed for that. Also work out well for that. I also have this kind of unique technique piece holding this back wheel onto it, which I'm not too familiar with. And then as, I also do have this uh, car rim piece for the backside and a, a long slope on top of it. And also do have a, a gold bar piece in black and a pair of studs on there represent a seat for that. And of course, enough to sit your shadow mini fig onto and clip onto the handlebars. So, well, if you can, like so. But yeah. But however, but unlike with how with most uh, speeder bikes in Star Wars sets, as well, where mini figs are a little out of scale or almost to scale, well, in recent years they've been to scale, but shadow on this bike just about right to scale to that so that great job lego on making this bike work out well and also for rolling work out great for it. and also not in only fr bad friction moving with the wheels it's well effective then so that's about it with this bike here and now uh, hang on Now onto 
this little uh, post so kind of built to it, which we have seen builds like this before in various themes, but first time getting it here in Sonic the Hedgehog, of course. But however, some of the builds of which, and also a couple features that are like well effective, which I'll show in a bit. Like, as for this front part of which, which has a couple of jumpers in red and with a stair kind of effect with a few plates there and one side of which has a few tiles or tile pieces on there represent like caution lines to it and then to the, to the uh, little in this main part of which which has a, a cylinder piece in clear and also and right beneath it since it's on one jumper comes off easily and also does have this little grid showing a uh, shadow's stats on there if you can see kind of well since of course this representing the chamber that sonic or that shadow got created in of course and also have a jumper kind of bit on there to stay on shadow onto And then you can place this right over him. But there is a feature with this which I'll show in a bit. But then right above that, do you have with probably the Dr. Eggman symbol there? But with these uh, uh, wedge pieces used very well for the mustache, of course. And also that part in red, nice to see there. And then what's kind of randomly is this astromech droid headpiece but in orange I'm not sure what for although it would have been better if it were in white or red at least white yeah. and then if you wonder what this uh, stripey tile or plate is for well there's a reason for that yeah well you can like uh, just hold it down with my one finger can like push on this and breaks it forward and that comes right down so it's two features happening at one time of which for a small build that's really effective and great for that and then also with this gate down you can like uh, take the bike and you have to take the bike and ram it right off of that so that's a good so two good fun features in one little build for that, which we barely see much in some smaller sets for that. And then as for this part of which, which to make it like that is has these one of those like little bits uh technic bits of it like we saw on the Mandalorian Starfighter in Star Wars, but on these other uh, bits on here. So that so you can kind of see how that works, but yeah. And also to hold the cylinder in place are these uh, hanging brackets with plates on them. Oh, which so oh, which quite thoughtful there. So now on to the final verdict. So overall, I think this is which a great set. Like for the twenty dollars that it is, which it packs quite a good, quite good bit of stuff. Like like a good uh, motorcycle build and also a little cylinder holder build and of course a uh, in great inclusion of Rhinobot and Shadow. Of course, well, although despite there being one fig in this set, with even though Shao's the, the only one, and of course the main incentive for this set, but however, this is which still great for that. As for me, things that I think they could have included that could have been included in this set could have been like Dr. Eggman yet again, making it the cheapest way to get him, or at least uh, also a uh, Silver the Hedgehog. Well, maybe that would be in another set eventually, but yeah. Also getting the clucky piece in white, 
and of course this being a quite cheap way to get that also quite nice for that and as for the build having like two features in one which we barely see much for that of which great for that and as for the price per piece of which it would, so it being around 20 cents per piece or I mean like around 9 to 10 cents per piece that of which and being worth $20 of which this of which great and also a great way to start off the 2024 Lego Sonic bunch of course but yeah and so now if you're a fan of, of Shadow definitely get this set and if you're looking to uh, get this to expand your or add to your Lego Sonic the Hedgehog collection then definitely pick this set up and if you want some diversity in your uh, Sonic the Hedgehog mocks of which then definitely get this set and that's about it with this video please like comment share and subscribe thanks for watching